guys how are you doing today i am constance thank you for joining me in the next episode of my english class today we're going to be talking about homophones in our previous class we talked about two and two and how to use two and two and two refers to to reaching towards someone, something, or an object. All right, you're going to a place. You're going to America. You're going uptown. You're going downtown. You're going to some place. All right, so to reach towards some, someone, something, a place, or an object. While two is excessive, an excessive amount of sugar, right, or an excessive amount of people, right. Too many persons are not wearing their masks. All right. So two, a lot of persons are not wearing their mask. So the word two means ex excessive of something. All right? Excessive of something. So that is what homophones are. They are spelled differently, but they sound almost alike. Right? Two, the number two, right, refers to counting. Right? So two apples are on the table. Two bottles are on the chair. Two trees are in the backyard. All right. So two refers to number or an amount. Toe, on the other hand, is a body part. Toe is a body part. Right. The doctor cuts off three toes because John has diabetes. That is an example. Right. So toes is plural while toe is singular. My big toe hurts or my pinky toe hurts, right? So, toe is a body part. Toe, T-O-W, to pull something from one location to the next. To haul, to drag something from one location to the next, okay? So, the police might stop you. You get a ticket, they take your car. They call the towing company to come and tow your your vehicle from one location to the next all right to the pound yard that's where they might bring it to all right so to pull something from one location to the next that's the word that's the meaning of the word tow two has two holes right too much of something has two holes while two to reach only has one the next word we are going to talk about is toll, toll, T-O-L-L, right? Toll to pay for an amount of or a passageway to go to a destination, all right? So you pay your toll, you pay, say, probably $200, all right? You pay somewhere around that, $200 or $50, you pay your toll, right? So you have to pay an amount of money to go through a passageway. Or through a gate a next meaning for toll is grain in countries like Africa India and some places of Asia where they're in um, East Africa where the Sun where the rain doesn't fall that that very often and there's not a much green grass they will use what they will buy a lot of grains such as corn or wheat to feed their animals all right so they call that Toll that is called toll, so you pay for grains. To pay for grains is the next meaning for the word toll. I think I'm going too fast. A next meaning for the word toll is to sound with a low strokes or a ring. The sound with a low strokes or a ring, it is getting dark. Sorry, to sound with a low strokes or a ring. All right. So example, the church bell tolls. The church bell tolls when there's a debt or when there's a meeting or in years gone by, they used to toll every 12 o'clock to let the town or the community know that it is 12 o'clock. When they hear the, the bell ring, they, everyone knows it is 12 o'clock. They used to toll, toll, uh, used to use toll to communicate with the slaves as well. Right, that is the next example. Communicate with the slaves. If they want the slaves to stop working at a certain hour, they will ring the bell and they will know that they should stop stop working at that hour. Alright? So those are some examples. 
or even boxing, right? So when they're boxing and the man punch out the next one and has to sit down and rest or the referee say, hold up, hold up. You know, put him in a corner, give him some water, try to revive him. <laughs> try to revive him. That's the next. Then they ring the bell and then say you have to get it back and fight. Fight for your money or fight for your life. So what he has to get it back and fight. So they ring that bell, right? So to sound with a low stroke or a ring is also known as toll. So the referee told the bell, the church told the bells, the slave master told the bell. So those are examples that can be used in your sentences or in your essays or whenever you're doing your exams, whatever your literary exams might be or exercises might be. All right. So this is it, two, two, to reach towards something, two, excessive, two is a number, toes is a body part, toe is to drag something from one location to the next or to pull it, and toll is to ring a bell, to indicate, to, it's a form of communication. Ringing a bell is a form of communication, so you're telling somebody that something is supposed to happen at that time. Right? You're telling either them the time or they have to do something at that specific time. So it's a form of communication. So to pay for permission to pass through a gate and you pay for your toll, you pay for your grains and it is to ring a bell. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy this class. I hope you've learned something from this class. You've learned these words so you can have them and use them properly before i leave you guys or before i say goodbye let me thank some of my wonderful subscribers who has taken the time to subscribe and comment all right so michael tupac official thank you meditation music thank you hurt pal gelot thank you oral regional thank you Alea Martin, thank you. Sorry, Daniel Dean's Poetry, thank you. Game Now, thank you. Oscar York, thank you. And Tiger, thank you. All right, thank you guys very much for your love and your support. I appreciate it. Okay, guys, remember these words. Remember how to use them. Sorry that it's getting a bit dark now, but I have to do this video several times to get it right. So I hope I have meet your expectations. All right. So until my next class, I hope to see you then. Walk good, stay good, take care of yourself, wear your mask, sanitize, and keep safe. Until then, bye-bye.